What's up? I'm Nikki Yor. My new song is called Sunroof, and you're watching my most requested live Ask Anything chat. Thanks to Romeo and iHeartRadio for having me on tonight. Jillian from St. Louis. How do you pronounce your full name with the proper hometown accent? Well, Jillian, uh, it's pronounced Nicholas Scott Yur. I made it Yor with the Y-O-U-R-E, um, so it'd be easier to pronounce, at least close enough. Uh, but my actual last name is U-R-E pronounced your thanks for the question samantha from nyc asks what lyric from sunroof runs through your head all the time i think it's got to be the lottie dawes because it's so dang catchy <laughs> all right alexa from st louis asks if the answer if the answer on jeopardy was nikki or what was the question i think the question would be who is incredibly handsome. Alexa, a lot of questions from Alexa. Really curious, Alexa. Um, Alexa from St. Louis asks, how did you get hooked up with Kiel? Um, it's actually a really cute story. My manager shot me a DM uh, many moons ago, and he's kind of the reason that I actually am still pursuing music and, um, you know, really gave me the confidence to um, continue making music and putting out stuff that people um, might like. And that's how he just shot me a DM. Jane from Toronto asks, what is your most used app on your phone outside of text messages? It's a really easy answer. It's got to be TikTok. I'm on there way too much. Um, it's too addicting. Tanya from Cleveland asks, what's the most useless talent you have? It's gotta be that I can whistle with my mouth open. It's never impressed anyone, but it's a talent that not everyone can do. And I'll do it for you. <laughs> Pretty cool. Next. <laughs> Tanya from Cleveland, Ohio asks, who's Daisy? How did you meet them? Um, Daisy is the producer behind Sunroof. I also met him through the DMs. Um, I gave him a follow and a couple of days later, he shot me a message um, because we were both fans of each other's music. And now we've kind of created a beautiful friendship that, um, you know, will hopefully create some more amazing songs from it. Uh, Madeline from Fairfax asks, does your car have a sunroof? No, Madeline, it does not. Well, it does have a sunroof, but um, it's broken and it's been broken for the past like five years and it kind of sucks i really want to make videos with my head out the sunroof but i can't do it so it's unfortunate maybe get a new one soon <laughs> yardley from philadelphia asks have you ever have you ever won any awards of course i've won awards yardley <laughs> um i i've only won things for water polo which is uh kind of was my main thing back in the day before music um, I was never very good at school, so I never won any school awards, and I'm hoping to win some music awards in the near future, potentially. Who knows? Gina from Noonan asks, which of your vices or bad habits would be the hardest to give up? I think the hardest thing to give up, which maybe not everyone thinks is a bad habit, but uh, would be social media and using my phone as much as I do. Um, I definitely like to cut back, but it's also a part of my job. So it's kind of hard for me to find a balance um, between using it and not using it for my mental health. Daniela from Green Bay asks, how many times a day do you say sunroof now? I try not to say sunroof too many, or I try not to talk about sunroof too much um, because it's always the topic of conversation for me nowadays. Um, so I would say a couple times a day, but I, I try not to. Otherwise, it would just drive me nuts. Haley from Yonkers. What would be the perfect Nikki Yor shirt? Um, I'm really into like vintage tea teas right now. So I think like some cool vintage tea would be ideal for me. Meg from Albany asks, how did Sunroof come together? Was it pre-COVID? Sunroof was in the middle of COVID. And it was because of my friend Daisy and I, we were sending each other ideas. And one day I was really sick and I wanted to feel 
good and energetic. And so I started writing something um, that made me feel that way. And Sunroof was was born there. And then I, I sent it to Daisy, who was able to really put a cool production behind it. Um, and about 20 versions later, the, the final version came out. And that's what we have now. Thanks for watching my most requested live Ask Anything chat. Thanks to Romeo for having me on to talk about my new song, Sunroof.